Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to episode 9 of Oil Eye. Yeah, welcome to episode 9 of Oil Eye. <laughs> yeah, episode 9 of Oil Eye. And uh, what are we doing uh, today, Smudge? A painting. Yeah, we're doing a painting. They know we're doing a painting. We're doing a painting every day. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like living with a puppet. What? Put, um, never mind. Um, so, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Smidge is going to go over there. He wants to watch. He's been saying he wants me to paint the seaside because he likes going to the seaside. And uh, I like going to the seaside, but I always get funny looks walking along the beach with a puppet. <laughs> but Smidge has a whale of a time. So anyway. <clears throat> This is what we're going to do. I took this picture a while ago and I've always wanted to paint it. And uh, here we are, oil eye, let's paint it. So, without further ado, <laughs> further ado, where's that come from, hey? I don't know. I'm just umming and ahhing now about my brush. Let's. Let's do a quick sketch first. This needs a quick sketch. So I might sketch this out with a little bit of a uh, burnt sienna. Yeah, burnt sienna will do nicely. And then what I'll do uh, is just, I'm going to quickly mix colours. And But the problem is, <laughs> there's not enough room for you to see what I'm doing unless I keep holding it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to stick it above for a second and then what I'll do is I'll keep pulling it down when I mix the colours so you can see what I'm doing. But first things first, I need a sketch done. So when you're doing your sketch, uh, you can do it in various methods. You can trace your photo, you can draw it, you can use a bit of paint like this, maybe a little bit of water, or if you're using traditional paints, use a little bit of medium. And you get a nice thin paint. And then, uh, and, uh, because, you know, it's relaxed. It's oil eye. It's a relaxing. Well, it wasn't yesterday, but today, today it is. Is relaxing, and I, I don't. I don't want to be stressed out doing this painting. I, I want to be happy, enjoying it, taking it easy for once. Wee wiggle 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 wiggle. Grassy bit. That'll do for that. And we've got a few rocks. And it comes up again, and there's this bit weird shaped rock. Slightly lower than that one. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Three more. Like that. Yeah. Like that. Uh -huh. And then there's water. So it comes down like that. It comes down like that. It goes like that, and then it comes across like that. Okay, and then. What we got? We got another bit here. Uh, it's quite close to that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's about the middle of this. So uh, it's about there, really. Something like that. And we can we can change things for for ours because we've got a little bit more space, really. Space, 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 space. <laughs> did that. Uh, and then water, body of water. So what when I'm doing these sketches, I'm breaking things down in my mind. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the overall shapes because we're not doing a detailed drawing straight away. We're doing a sketch. And, uh, and so I'm looking at shape and they like this, God, 
pictures above you can't see uh, so like this right, there's a triangle there look and then below that there's a uh, it's more like here there's a, another like as a sort of a, almost a kite shape there almost and then the water comes in like that yeah so what I'm really doing is looking at very simple shapes and then uh, putting them in like there's a triangle there there's a squarish there there's another bit there but not going um, mental <laughs> with this bit taking it easy and uh, like I said basic shapes like this I mean I've made this a bit, a bit wide I would say so um, I can see that now so let's rectify that and do this and then the basic shape behind of this other is a distant rock it's sort of like that and then there's the rocks in front of that and that's basically it and then all we need to do is mix the colors and throw it all together and then that's it done in fact now we know what we're doing, we don't even need to do the painting. <laughs> we can just quit now. <clears throat> I'll post this online and say, this is my painting for today. <laughs> oil eye done for today. <clears throat> it is oil eye number nine, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Number nine. Wow, I'm doing well. Doing well. What I didn't realise was uh, I probably picked the worst month to do this because at work people are on holiday so I've been covering their shifts because um, you got to get the overtime when you can, right? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, it's just happened the way I didn't want it to happen really and you know, it's landed right on oil eye. So I've not really been getting much time to edit. So I've been doing the paintings and going to work. But I've not really had much time to edit stuff. So it's going to be a huge backlog of back the bag back <laughs> backlog. There we go. Backlog of uh, paintings to edit, and editing's the worst bit because <laughs> it's just watching me again and I'm like oh no because when I watch myself I'm thinking about um painting mistakes and I'm like oh I would if I would do that again I'd do that better <laughs> so it can be a little bit frustrating so I mix in a greyish blue here uh, you don't really need to see that it's just a, a light blue Because the sky is it's quite covered with cloud and it's a grey blue so I'd use my usual two colours ultramarine blue and cerulean blue and a little bit of ivory black and white and then we've got our nice the ivory black blade the, <laughs> the ivory black greys are blue down a little bit Tell I've been working more. I can't speak. Can't speak. You know, while I've been doing this, I've been thinking, I'm building quite a stock of paintings here. <laughs> I have to sell them. It's like, should I do a stall? Should I uh, set up a website and put them up for sale on there? But then I'd have the uh, the stress of uh, sending them and then uh, what if someone buys a painting and then when it arrives it's damaged in the post or it never gets there <laughs> can I deal with that kind of stress 
Or what if like two people buy paintings and I send one person say say someone bought the coffee cup <laughs> and I send one person the coffee cup and then another person uh, a goldfish and they wanted the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I could then imagine myself doing something like that. Maybe I'll approach my uh, local gallery, see if I can get some paintings in. I had my paintings in a gallery once, but uh, it was fairly a newish gallery and it wasn't the best position for traffic, footfall and all that. So it wasn't very good, to be honest. But I did want, I have done my own before, pop-up gallery. And that worked all right, I sold a few. Managed to get a bit of free advertising and stuff. Probably a good idea. I kind of want to, uh, do an exhibition though. It'd be quite good to do an exhibition of every day a painting. So I could like keep all the paintings together and do hire out maybe or somewhere and do that. I don't know. I like the idea of doing something like that, but practically will I be able to do it? I don't know. There we go. I'll do for the sky. It's quite a simple sky. There's some like flavor changes. So a little bit of ultramarine in the sky. I'm just going to throw that in just to change the flavor in places. Like I said, yes. Repeating myself. Why do I do that? Okay, yeah, 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 loving the sky, it's brilliant. <laughs> right, now I've got to think about this uh, rock facing. Uh, the background one's quite brown, um, but the lower one is quite dark. I'll move this down so you can see. Whoops. Maybe I'll, I'll put it there for a minute. Because what I'll do is I'll mix these colors. So, got a lot of darks in here, haven't we? And you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like a brush stroker today. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so wrong. Um, God, help. <laughs> I'm losing the plot again. I'm losing the plot again. Uh, so I'm going to put some ivory black down and burnt umber. Let's move these blues out of the way. I don't really need them anymore. I think I've got enough on my palette to be able to use them. Um, yeah, what have we got here? Some really weird colours, uh, green, sap green for the uh, green bits, we can me mess about with that. Um, hmm, let's see how clean this brush is, yeah, it's not bad. So it's this, and I'm thinking to myself, I could mix a mid colour, like that colour, and then fill in the whole thing and then come over with lights and darks, or I could just throw in brush strokes all over the place and mix in a light and a dark and a, and, and a middle. But then also, you can see this bit, I need to mix that as well. That would be the point to go for first, really. So let's see if we can mix that colour. A uh, bit of brown, a bit of this light colour, sky colour. 
definitely. So just start with that brown and light color. And oh my God, it's so close. There's some more white in there. There we go. Nice, nice and bright now, too bright. A bit more of this brown. Needs to be a little more blue, so we get a bit more of the ultra. Ultramarine. Looking at it again now, oh, that top part's pretty close, isn't it? So let's put that in on the top there. Uh, yeah, whoops, whoops. sharp okay and then we need this uh, more of a, a grayed out bluey color so I think it needs more blue more white more white more blue more white more blue more, more. that's too light I mean <laughs> not too light It's too green, but it uh, doesn't matter so, so much at the moment. Uh, um, a bit more uh, oh, true and white in there. Okay, so now we're getting closer. I think it needs more black now. He's grey and ivory black. Uh, been quite close now. A bit brown in there. Bit more black. More blue. I think it needs a touch of red actually. Uh, gonna get some of the alizarin, alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson, blob that out. <laughs> this is how I do it, this is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, this is how I usually do it, have all my paints around and just keep throwing them on. Well, that'll do, I can't, can't keep messing around with this bit. Um, we're close anyway. Let's just put some. There we go. Some bit of that, bit of this, bit of that. Could do a bit of white, a bit more white at the base, I think. Mix that on on the colour. How's that look? Mine's looking a little bit um, funny. I think it's not long enough. Like that. That's better. A little bit more of that brown just to continue that off a bit. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Just have a look, sit back, have a look. Maybe you need some brown bits here and there. That'll do, because uh, it's quite distant. We don't need to uh, mess around with that too much. Now we need to be thinking about that color. And, and let's use this, what we're building up here. Throw some black in it, I can see that. So what we've got here, so brown. Gonna need quite a lot of this because we've got the other rock, so let's blob some more black out. And we'll need to blob some more brown out. Whoops. Oh, that's burnt. I'll just drop that on the floor. I didn't need it. It didn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'll brown out. So black, brown. So 
burnt umber, ivory black. Let's see what we've got. <coughs> so what we've got is something um, different, <laughs> but it's not totally different. It's just different. Needed more blue and black. There we go. So we're pretty close now. That's really close to the blackest black. Close, not exactly, but close. So we'll leave this. This is one color. That can be another color. And then I want a lighter color. It's got a bit of white in it. Might might be this. So with a bit of white. No, it's not. A bit of brown. Bit more black. There's a, let's see what that's like. Close. More brown. It's similar to some of the areas. Love that. Quite like that. And um, I'll have another one here. Just doing variations of what I can see, really. And then I'll just dart in between. Maybe we want one that's a bit more brown. A touch of red in it. So we've got some different colors. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go back to my dark one. I'm going to start building this up. So let's uh, just get cracking really. Let's start doing... So that, I'll do this one and then I'll have to put this picture back up there as I do the other one. But it's the same process. So I'm using a fairly big brush actually. So I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm not going to do exact replica of that picture because I'm kind of thinking, shall I just mix this dark in and then go over the top of the colours? Hmm. It's the beauty of oil painting. There's so many ways you can do something. I want another colour though. I want to have one ready to go straight away so I can go like that. It's not bright enough, you see, it's not bright enough. There we go, that's better. Yeah. I want to be able to build up straight away. Here we go. Okay, we're all ready, we're all ready to roll. There's one. There's a dark bit Ooh, there. Ooh. Dark bit. Ooh. Welcome to the dark side of painting again. With me, the greatest oil painter that's ever painted in this room. <laughs> as far as I know, no one else has ever has painted in this room. <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking at dark bits, dark bits, dark bits, dark bits, get in the dark bits, yes, yes, yes. We want the dark bits. Yes, we want the dark bits. Okay, let's get some of this colour. Let's have a look. Boink, 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 boink. Uh, 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 uh. Grab a bit of that brown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, we like this. Rough that bit up a bit. Uh, bit of this colour. Grey, grey, grey. Use this to make these sharpish bits. Okay, that can go to there. We need to leave a bit of a space for the water, so 
It's not there. This is a artist license. I'm gonna put some blue in the rock. It isn't there. And I know it's not there. I can see it's not there. But in my eyes <laughs> uh, in my eyes it is there. But that's uh, something that you develop uh, your own <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like your own mental colour scheme. And you, you develop that the more, the more you paint. And then people that uh, don't do that will uh, wonder where all these colours came from. They came from your creativity and and nobody else does it the same way that you do it, which makes you an individual artist, a painter. So I'm, I'm really playing now, playing, playing with color, and then I'll start. I'll use these three brushes and I want another brush now. Oh uh, yeah, that's one. Uh, I want some sort of a, a light brownie colour. Yeah, that'll do. A light brownie colour. So I'm gonna that. Get that there. This. And this here. Bit here, up there. My dark brush. Uh, get real, real dark, real dark there. Yeah, there as well, and there. Dark there. And then we need to think about this greeny bit, and greeny bit. Let's use this brush. Let's make this dirty green. I'll do. Sitting back, having a look. That's more of a structure there. do with and get some black. I want to emphasize my darkest darks a bit more. So let's do that with this black, pure black. So you notice today um, a bit more looser more free. And 
some days you just need to be a bit more looser than others have a bit more fun <laughs> but some days you need to be strict with yourself get some of this light colour a little bit more reddy brown not what I want. I'm not quite getting what I want. Where did I drop that paint? Ugh. Burnt sienna will be quite nice actually. So let's get some of that on. Mm. All these different colours. the flavour of some of these bits. Also that top bit needs just needed to uh, sharpen it a bit. Okay, well I think we'll leave that as that. Yeah, so that's um, how I'm going to do the other rock. Same sort of idea. I'm going to just throw in some dark and light and then uh, start pulling stuff out in that uh, manner, really. So I'll go back to my dark, get some more of this black. And then start filling in areas that are quite dark. Right here, 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 here. From there, right there, go over that like that. Yeah. This is quite dark there. So I've got my brush on a little bit to uh, get some of these juts. I can just like that. took all of that. Let's get some, uh, that's my dark, that's my green. Let's put my green in so I could do this one quicker because I've got my uh, colours on my brush. So I've got some green here. burnt sienna then into my green my green more green there more green there and there so let's do that bit there okay let's sit back have a look happy yes I'm happy yeah I want a middle Middle of the road colour. 
out of the black side of this colour. Uh, strokes to fill in these rocky bits. It's just uh, let's fill that in a bit. It's quite dark over this bit. caves and all sorts. It's quite a good place to uh, walk around and discover. Sit back, have a look. Yeah, it's a bit there. Uh, that jumps out like that. That needs a bit of this. That needs a bit of this. That needs blocking in there. I need more black again to darken some of these areas. So I'll get some black. Yeah, I'm quite liking this picture art joy. I'm enjoying doing it as well. I'm gonna put some of this in, really darken that area. It's quite high that. Uh, Roll that brush around a bit. Chip that bit. That bit. And there's some like darker bits underneath here. Here. There we go. Now I can lighten some areas. <laughs> It's a game of lights and darks, lights and darks. I want it to be blue though, which was my blue brush. Oh, oh well, this one's my blue brush as well now. It's sort of a bluey, bluey black. Yeah, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot actually. Okay. Make one up there. Uh, I need to make one of those rocks zing a little bit. A bit like that. back and look at that. Get some more of a light colour. Throw a bit of red in this. Just put a few marks on this rock side.
yeah. That'll do. I'll do for that rock. It's got a little bit of uh, action. There's these bits in front here as well. We can uh, give a little bit of uh, action there. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Get a bit of green. A bit of that green and... Put that in. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I had that feeling that I was painting with my mouth open like, oh... <laughs> Do you ever do that? You don't realise you're making all these funny faces when you're painting. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, looks alright. Now we need this dark area of sand and to and the light area of sand. I don't think I need the green brush anymore. I don't think I need all these brushes anymore. I don't think I need those brushes anymore. Uh, I might just use this one dark brush. And then we can put the sand in. <sighs> Apologies, it's so hot here. <laughs> Need to uh, keep drinking. So I don't want to lose my paint. So I'm going to use the top part of my palette now. So I might just move this a little bit. Yes. And we want to mix that sandy colour. So to me, I see in the dark area, it's quite dirty. Uh, I'll put some yellow ochre. It's not for that bit though. Uh, it's dirty. It's brown. I'll show you actually. Look at this bit, look. It's dirty, it's brown. So, burnt umber. I put a little bit of burnt sienna in there. Sort of black. And then just mix that as it is and go, right, it's too dark. So we need a bit of white, easy, yeah, easy, easy. You always find mixing colours, you need your colours to be quite dirty. You don't want, um, you know when you get your, your tube of paint out on your palette and it's all clear and lovely, generally there's not many colours that you can do that, use that, do that, use that colour with. It's mostly uh, dirty and dark and dull. <laughs> and sometimes a flower, maybe. It's almost. So what we got here, uh, a little bit too nice, that color was. So it needs a bit more brown and black in it. So that's not bad. I think mine is slightly, I'll just get a bit of blue. That's quite close, that is now. It's quite close, it's good enough, isn't it? And then we'll need that sand color as well, which is sort of a, a raw sienna -y sort of color. So we'll, we'll do that afterwards. I wanna get some of this dark in now. So we've got the light coming through this gap here, so the dark 
of the water is like here it's along here and it's quite dull and dark because of the this rock this great big rock here <clears throat> and we've got to make a decision about that person uh, the question is are we going to put them in we go that's walking along the water think about that because we really need to paint her in when this is dry I would say but using impasto I might be able to put her in there <clears throat> so yeah but anyway for now let's just concentrate on this darkness here in the water dull sand there's a bit more where's the light finish here it's still quite light and there's some areas of dark still not many like there and there and then there's a strip oh I do like to be beside the seaside Ooh, that song's probably copyrighted. <laughs> oh, that's another hit on the channel. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, I want a bit of light. I need to lighten it a bit to do some of that. Yeah, I might throw a bit of yellow in there. What's that look? Not far off, do me. Probably needed a bit of uh, red in it, but need a bit more light colour. is that white that's the question can I use my sky color for that color mm, put a bit of brown in it oh. <laughs> too much brown in it I think it's more of a really bluey white. Let's wipe this colour off. We don't like it, we don't want it. <laughs> so, what do we need? only a tiny bit of blue but the this sort of thing like this um, I don't want to use the word amateur because an amateur painter is someone who paints for the love of it and I class myself as an amateur painter I'm not a uh, getting paid thousands of pounds for my paintings so you know <laughs> I'm not a uh, a professional, I'm an amateur, but a professional, this is a better way of explaining it, a professional would look at that and they wouldn't put pure white down in that area. A uh, person like myself, but in early days of experience, I would. I would have whacked pure white in there thinking that that would be right. And let me tell you, there ain't much pure white <laughs> that you need in a picture. Generally, um, all the whites, unless you've overexposed your photo, is uh, not pure white. And 
when you realize that suddenly your level of work goes up a little notch because when you look at the paintings in the museums they're not bright white they've composed it the way it is the way they see it because they're not using photos and stuff they were using reality and uh, when you use photos you can start overexposing everything <laughs> so here we go uh, it needs a bit grade grade that's close that is close I want a bit of blue in it I think that'll do me that'll do me right here we go so we want to be there 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 there, there, there. <laughs> There, there, there. <laughs> Don't cry, it's only a painting. There, there, there. <laughs> have to watch myself. It's going to get muddy. It's going to get muddy. My colour's going to get muddy. Okay, okay, okay. And then... Here we go. There uh, we go. Uh -huh. And uh, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sit back, having a look. I need to wipe my brush because I want to get the brown off it. And then I need to start bringing this together a bit. And that's got to be done like this. Okay, wipe my brush. Wipe all that excess brown off. I think what I'll do is I'll come back and put some more of the nice colour back in because I really needed to get that uh, way of doing it. Not there. There as well. Sitting back, having a look. Wipe my brush. Get some of this pure white with a little bit of blue in it. And we'll come back and we'll uh, Okay, sit back, have a look. Right, we need to get that uh, sandy colour in. So I think it's a bit of yellow and a bit of burnt sienna, I guess. Uh, yellow, burnt sienna. Brown, probably, a little bit of this brown. Let's see what we've got. Tell you what, <laughs> not half close. So it's just a bit of yellow ochre, a bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of burnt um, umber, and then we've got the colour. Oh, I've got paint all over our hands again. <laughs> so let's put that in.
picked up a little bit of the uh, colour that's there, but I'm not too bothered really. Because I can come back and load more paint on my brush. And then go over it again. And then there's a bit of a... Choose a small brush. It's a white black brush. And there's a few areas that need filling in, like there. That needs filling in. And there's like a rock there. Sit back, have a look. I could do with a bit of uh, more of this colour at the foreground bit, like here, which is about right for this bit. This sandy area here. And then it goes lighter, like that. A bit of white in the colour. And it gets closer to the uh, water edge, it goes light like that. And more of the burnt sienna yellow ochre mixture. The burnt umbery. Oh, <laughs> too much of the burnt umbery. Sand. I'm actually slightly off colour there, just slightly. I can see it's just slightly, but it's all right. I'm okay with that. Ugh, a bit more white I think I need and then uh, I need to put in the sea and the foreground rock and then uh, make a decision on that kid <laughs> Just sit back, have a look, have a look at that, see if it's all right, see what we can do to improve. Possibly. Little, uh, 
holes into that there. Yeah, I think it needed that. <laughs> We had a bit of uh, sand there as well, didn't it? That'll do. That'll do. What don't I like? I don't like that angle. This angle. I don't like it. It should be more like that. And that dark needs a bit more like that. That's better, I prefer that. Okay, right. Happy with that. Let's get another brush. We need a bluey colour. <laughs> We're really using the whole of the uh, palette today. <laughs> This is pretty dirty, you know. Let's get rid of that. Just using a wet wipe to create a bit of space. Use that area. Um want some more white. So what we want to do is put in the the ocean part and then we can whack in that rock and then uh we're pretty much done really. I don't think I'm going to put the person in. So I'll just check my colour. Not white and straight away I can tell I'm too white. Not far off though, it's just got a little bit of a, a blue tint to it. Yeah, something like that. Let's put some white. Bit more of that blue in that. When when you go over the dark, uh, just wipe your brush, and then you can do it again. Wipe my brush on there. Get a bit of blue, and then. Try not to move it like I just did then. I need more paint. Just blew this up a bit. Really load this brush. Yeah, these little little movements. Uh, 
rush. I still want some like just that bit of blue there. Some of the uh, a bit more of the white. It sort of looks like water, but we can make it better. I can grab some of that sandy colour and just put some in there. And then get some of this white, mix it with this blue to take it away from pure white <laughs> I need to uh, start thinking about that rock rather than uh, messing about with this too much. I think that'll do. Uh, we can see it. So that wave is into a bit of dark there. leave it at that because <laughs> otherwise we'll be here for hours messing around with that. Let's get some of this dark colour and we'll block this in. So that sends that water back doesn't it? Brown, bit of black. make this a bit bigger than what it is. And a little triangle shape there. Use a bit of this white in with the yellow. Let's see if we can create some shapes on this rock. Mm 
Then we can highlight some of this. So we just lighten up the uh, rock behind that one. <laughs> I want this to go like that, which way, yeah. More dark on that one. Bring it forward. I think that'll do. I think. soft brush just to go over this mm -hmm. and then I'm thinking a bit of the white Sandy colour in some of this area. I just noticed something you can see. about this shape. It goes like that. <coughs> Soon back having a look. We haven't got that right, have we? <laughs> so let's, um, let's just improve this. So we need some more of the white. This uh, more in line. Yeah. And then we'll call this one. We'll call this one Dun. <laughs> Some of that sandy colour in the lot. Oh, yeah, it was blue, wasn't it? A little bit of blue in the lot. Nice and soft, nice and soft, nice and soft. Sit back, having a look.
get some of that white in amongst that to uh, finger. I think we're done now. I think that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of playing now because I can sort of start seeing things but I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish so I've decided that'll do today so thanks very much for watching this episode this is another painting another uh, challenge painting for me another day another painting and I uh, enjoyed this one actually it's quite good fun a bit different I'm trying to do different types of paintings so I don't do like <laughs> 31 paintings that are exactly the same <laughs> they'd be bored so anyway thanks very much for watching this one if you want to check out my Facebook you can get updates or ask me a question or put a question on there and other people answer them and uh, or comment below tell me what you think if you liked it did you want to see more um uh, check out my patreon page where you can sponsor the channel uh, and also my instagram if you uh, are interested so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in another episode cheers bye